So why do some houses sit on the property market for ages and ages and ages? You know the ones, you search on right move, month one, month two, month six, they're still there, unsold, what's gone wrong? In this video, I'm gonna deep dive into exactly why that happens and how you can avoid it. All right, so I'm gonna talk you through an incredible analogy that I've used for years to explain this point, but you need to have your imagination ready. So let's go. So imagine a really hot summer's day. You place a fresh bunch of flowers right in the middle of your garden, right? It's a summer's day, so there's bees buzzing around, going from flower to flower. And then all of a sudden, this nice fresh bunch of flowers gets put right in the middle of the garden. What are the bees around it gonna do? Now imagine the bees are buyers and the flowers are your house. So the local bees will be like, oh, oh new bunch of flowers, let's go. And they're gonna swarm to that bunch of flowers. So for the first day, two days, week, two weeks in property terms, you get loads of interest. All the active buyers in the market are gonna see the flowers, your house, and swarm to it and view it and hopefully make an offer on it. And it's so fresh to market, they're probably gonna offer over asking price on it because there's a real buzz around the property. Now, what happens to those flowers after four, five, six weeks sitting in the garden if they had no water? They die. What do the bees do? in your garden, they fly around thinking, oh, there's that horrible bunch of flowers been sitting there for weeks. I'll go over to this new bunch. I'll go to this flower over here and have a look because I've seen those already and they're not very nice and now they're looking a bit horrible. That's your house on the market. 70% of your interest will come in the first four to six weeks of marketing. That's right move data. So pricing from the get go, pricing accurately, competitively to make your house the one that all the bees wanna flock to is really, really important. What happens if you miss that initial launch to market, you then have to hope that there's gonna be a few buyers, a few bees passing your garden that might actually be interested in that stagnant bunch of flowers sitting in the middle of it. So this is a perfect analogy. Hopefully you've stayed with me, but it's the freshest properties to market get the most interest. And there's a few reasons for that. One is people are interested in what's new. Two is people wanna buy what they know other people wanna buy psychology now. Three, the longer it sits on the market, the more it stagnate. What we call this in the industry is brick and mortis. Sorry about that. So what then happens is you've got to keep reducing your price to compete with and keep up with all the new ones come into the market. So I've seen houses sitting on the market for four, six, nine, sometimes 12 months. Do not do that. What you want to be doing is going to market for three months maximum if no real interest and there wasn't the right buyer out there for your house at that time for the price that you wanted, take it off the market for three months and go back on the market in three months time. So that's the same amount of time, six months, you've had to wait before you can potentially move or find a buyer, but you haven't stagnated and sat there for six months. Because what happens is when someone then does wanna buy your property, it's like, oh, it's been kicking around for six months. If you're asking 500, I'll offer you 425. You've then completely lost your leverage in the negotiation. So there we go. There's a quick analogy that hopefully helps explain why some properties sit on the market for months. There's a link in the description to our 11 step property sale plan. If you're thinking of selling, download it, implement it, call our team, we'd love to help.